it's a beautiful spring morning in North Florida, and a perfect chance to get out and soak in some recently planted plants. It's also a great time to share with you where we're going, why we're going, and how we think we're going to get there. We've, uh, we've lived here six years, and we never really bought the house initially as our forever home. We always kind of bought it with the intention of it being an investment. And the idea was that uh, when we uh, got to the point where we wanted to retire in our life, we would sell it, we would downsize to a home that was more appropriate, and, uh, and yeah, take whatever money we earned out of it and, and use that to hopefully just pay off a house. Um, we think the uh, time has become right for us to go ahead and do that now even though we're probably 11 to 12 years from retirement, um, we decided that we want to make the move to our, what we believe to be our true forever home in the mountains of North Georgia. And um, why there? It's just a place we've always loved. Um, from our very first days together as a couple, uh, in fact, our first trip together ever as a couple was our honeymoon. Uh, we were dirt poor. Um, but we managed to get away for, um, for I think, an extended weekend at, uh, in Highlands, North Carolina. So um, since that time, it's become kind of the place we like to go together and spend time together. And uh, in the last few years, we've done that more in uh, North Georgia. We've got several friends that um, live just outside of the area there. And... Uh, uh, specifically the Blue Ridge area, or have homes there. They don't necessarily live a full year around right now, but they will eventually, and you know that's uh, where we want to go ourselves. So um, what we're looking at is a probably a three-year journey that we want to invite you to come along with us on uh, in, in doing this uh, little adventure. And uh, yeah, through that three-year journey, we're going to do a lot of stuff we've never done before. We're going to, uh, first of all, like I said, sell the house, but this time we're going to sell it by owner. Um, the last time we sold a house, we, we sold it uh, with a real estate agent. She did a, she did a great job, um, got the house really prepped and ready to go. And I think at that time it was because that we didn't sell by uh, owner at that time. was we, you know We just didn't really understand what the market was. And we'd just come out of the 2008 Great Recession. Um, and... Um, yeah, so we sold the house and we used a real estate agent. Uh, I think, you know, time and this being the second time we're going to sell a house, we decided to take it up on our own for a couple of reasons. There's one is I, I learned uh, that early on, um, there's not a lot of resources out there to help people to uh, actually sell the house uh, by owner. Um, a lot of the websites that when you Google it and you say, hey, uh, tell me uh, how to sell a house, for sale by owner, it'll take you to a page like Zillow or some real estate company's page. It'll tell you why you don't want to sell a house by owner. So, which I thought was a little bit of a deception um, on their part. Uh, but it really comes down to that they claim they're going to get you more money for your home uh, than if you don't. And in our particular case, you know, I, I think uh, they asked for anywhere between five and six percent um, of what you'll pay in commission fees and other stuff. And uh, and that, in this case, that would be, you know, um, quite a hefty profit for them. Uh, and I'm, I think uh, I'm willing to try and make some mistakes that uh, even if I only got uh, what, what would end up being maybe giving away a 1% or 2% commission, um, would still be a lot more money in my pocket than in theirs. So, no offense to real estate agents, uh, you know, they, they have, they're making a good living. They certainly, pro or they can make a good living. They certainly provide a value resource for a lot of people um, but in our case we have the resources to do it we're both in sales and marketing my wife and I and uh, we know we feel like we have the knowledge and ability to to one market at home um, and having done it gone through the process once use the resources that are out there in the market to do it um, we own the printing company uh, and we can use them to create our signs um, I obviously, I'm going to create our own website. Uh, I'm doing a uh, video for the home tour uh, as well. And uh, so, so we have the resources. And more importantly, not only do we have the resources to market the home. Whoa, 
uh, almost killed myself in the hose there. Um, we have the time, um, time being the biggest factor. We're not under any pressure to sell. Um, we could comfortably live here for another 10, 15, 20 years if you want to. Um, you know, but um, but uh, that's not the plan. That's not not what we decided to do, and how we want to how we want to go forward. Um, we love the urban life uh, at this point. Um, we enjoy our well. Normally, we enjoy our beaches. This is during the uh, COVID uh, coronavirus time, so right now all the beaches are closed, um, which kind of <laughs> makes it like, well, you want to move to the beach, right? But um, so there is certainly that factor. Um, uh, going for it, um, but you know, I've always loved the mountains as well and the quiet and the serenity. I have a lot of ideas and ambitions about going up there. Um, when we do go up there, uh, I'd like to build a, uh, not, not only would you want to build a custom home, um, a very uh, eco-friendly custom home. We're not going to be off the gridders, um, and, and, uh, but we are going to try and do things like solar. If we have running water on the property, hopefully potentially hydro uh, power as well. Um, but we will be hooked up to the grid. We're gonna have, obviously we want cable and other amenities. But we're not gonna build a log cabin either. When we go up there, our plans are to build a more contemporary style home. Um, but we'll share that part of that journey. And that's really the reason behind this channel. Uh, well, a couple reasons behind this channel. is One, I love the, uh, the challenge. Um, I was a uh, combat photographer uh, motion picture video in the Marines and uh, my skills were um, shooting and editing video and, and uh, I did a lot of that early on in my life but I haven't done that as a career uh, since then since I left the Marines so you know it's fun getting back into doing some of the things and the skills I learned early on and two um, it's you know uh, not, not to kid anyone there's a little bit of the monetization side of it so we'll you know, do that, but it's not just to be totally, uh, you know, whether I end up with any subscribers or enough subscribers ever actually get paid is not really going to be relevant, though it would be fun. Um, to me, it's kind of, uh, I'm a very competitive person, and uh, so I like to, I like to, um, I like to succeed at what I'm doing, and uh, having subscribers and people that are interested in the content I put out will certainly be a large part of it. And then talking about content, so basically this first episode that you're going to watch here today, um, other after this monologue, which I probably won't do very many monologues from here on out, but I wanted to kind of get set the ground for what's going on and why uh, why I'm doing the things I'm doing, um, is that I will be sharing the different projects that I do and the different challenges we face. So, you know, expect videos on everything from gardening. Uh, like I'm, I'm going to be sharing with you today to uh, doing some home repairs. Um, one of the things you might have noticed in some of the entry videos is that the fences, uh, some areas are painted, some aren't. Uh, and that's because uh, I've built the fence myself at different times and uh, for different reasons. And uh, now i got to make it all look uniform. Right? So we're going to put a lot of time into our, I'm going to put a lot of time in the garden. Um, my wife is taking care of a lot of stuff on the inside of the house at this time. There's projects that she can't uh, take care of. I will go back in and take care of myself, but uh, I'm focusing on the garden. Uh, I had to unkink the hose there. That's why we will throw away. Um, the, uh, but the reason I'm focusing on the garden is I believe, you know, this is going to maybe, I don't know, sound cynical, but, um, you, you know, w when you, when you first met your significant other, uh, it would probably was a physical attraction before it was anything deeper emotional connecting you to it and I think that's because as people that's what we tend to look for um, and it tells us something about who we're with if someone takes good care of themselves if they're in good shape um, you know then um, it probably you know it means certain things about them and as I said in the monologue or in the, uh, in the opening video uh, a garden will tell you a lot about a home or maybe the people in the home and how they take care of it. So, you know, right now uh, I have a very good, I have great bones on my garden, um, but, you know, coming out of the winter uh, and then also with some of the projects that, you know, have uh, been done, like the gates not needing to be painted and um, actually a fence extension that needs to be painted, um, I'm going to take care of that. Plus where I pressure wash it, I blast it off some of the... Uh, 
have blasted off some of the um, paint that was already there. So we got to make it look more uniform, and I'll be touching up the paint. Um, not that watching someone paint is going to be that exciting, but you know we'll, we'll get that done. There are some tips and techniques that uh, I'll share with you on that. Um, but then more importantly, um, we're going to. Um, um, I'll, I'll share with you some of the uh, areas that I've just recently put in um, in that process of planning out a garden and what my my ideas and philosophies are on what I've been trying to accomplish here in the garden. And that, quite frankly, too, that's one of the exciting challenges that I think about when I move up to do move up to the mountains and have some acreage. I don't want to turn it all into uh, basically farmland. Um, uh, I want to work with the natural landscape there. Um, and kind of do between a process that is formal and informal, which is what you'll see a lot in my garden here. There are certain formal areas and informal areas that, uh, that I've grown and uh, cultivated. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and we'll get this first episode started. And I'll share with you where I started putting some, uh, I just uh, put some plants in the ground. Come on, Didi. I'm going, baby. Come on. Go. And um, uh, kind of transform an area that already looked pretty good, but, um, you know, can always look better. So we'll uh, get started over there. Uh, as always, please, at the end of the video, if you don't mind, um, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks.